With that down, let's move on to main topic number two, shall we? Kim, what is our second main topic today? Alrighty, this comes from Irrelevant and Beyond. I agree with you about the simple format of the Disney Plus Day event. However, I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel a little underwhelmed afterwards. Both big presentations totaled less than 20 minutes, and that included nearly 10 minutes of recap footage of previous MCU shows. Also, they only shared these first looks on Disney Plus. It seems like an odd marketing move to only show new footage to existing subscribers. Why would they do that? And what were your general thoughts about the event? All right. Thanks, thanks a lot for sending that in irrelevant. I, and, and listen, I, I mentioned a little bit before that the Disney Plus Day, I'm kind of, I'm going on a bit of a roller coaster. Because one of the things that I really did like, because remember, we're all coming off of DC Fandom Part 2. And I thought that was a dumpster fire. I thought that was terrible. Especially coming off of DC Fandom last year, which I actually thought was really good. And so... Disney Plus decided to try a different format. Release a bunch of stuff just on social media. Like every five minutes, something new would drop. And then for the bigger, more anticipated stuff, you do these video presentations, right? And that was actually, I thought, a pretty good idea. And I like the format. Because instead of sitting through, okay, 15 minutes of Cam Newton talk, trying to sell his DC-themed hats... Oh, now we're going to talk about <laughs> uh, golden boots and now we're going to kill more time. Instead of that, you know, we could just we could just have our Twitter feed open and seeing these new announcements coming. I thought that was pretty interesting. And then we'll do these presentations. I, I'm curious, Kim, what was your overall impression? Did you watch the DC or the uh, the Disney Plus Day stream? Yeah, what did I sure you, did. How did you think about it? What did you think of it? Well, not only, did, uh, you know. I liked it. I'm a simple gal. Um, but what I what I liked the most was their um, ambition in trying to make it a more holistic experience. For example, they had at AM, uh, over 200 AMC theaters, they had $5 uh, Disney movies. It was going to be a surprise presentation. After the movie, you got a commemorative poster at, uh, I believe, over 800 Target locations. They had live events and giveaways. They had discounts on Funko Pop. Like, it was... Um, it was more than just sitting in front of your computer. I actually was trying to make it out <laughs> to a Target. Um, uh, to I was I wanted to like get in on the action. I like events and I like experiencing like so many different ways to experience something. And so um, I like their ambition for it. I like that they didn't just stop right there and go here's twenty minutes. I mean, look, Disney Plus is new. Okay, Disney they're new to the streaming game. The streaming game itself is a totally new. Well, we're getting into it, but new concepts. So they're two years in. So I feel like they're going to learn from this. And um, I think they're going to listen to the fans and go, okay, all right, we need a little bit more. We need next year. Let's take it a little bit further. But I actually thought they were pretty um, pretty ambitious, but I would have liked to see a little bit more. Yeah, and that's that's where, again, my thought, because when, when the stream ended, I was like, well, that was pretty good because I really like the format. I like the mm -hmm. idea of the format. But the more I started to think about it, it's like, well, yeah, we really didn't get much. Like, even the She-Hulk stuff was very, very short. The Moon Knight stuff was very, very short. Half of what they showed us for Hawkeye was stuff we already saw in previous trailers. And here's the kicker. And, you know, they made a really good job uh, pointing this out. This comes to us from the folks over at Screen Rant who wrote the following. Unlike the teaser trailers and clips for relatively smaller announcements, Disney Plus's biggest reveals hid behind paywalls. The Obi-Wan Kenobi footage and first looks at upcoming Marvel shows were exclusively released on Disney Plus, which required a subscription to be unlocked. This move was made in response to the drastically slow increase in subscriber numbers, a mere two million in one quarter, and a sharp drop in Disney stock. See, I didn't even think about that till I read that on Screen Rant. That's like, oh yeah. If you were somebody that was thinking about getting Disney Plus, and you know this MCU presentation's coming up, oh, you don't get to watch the MCU presentation. That's only for people who are already a subscriber to Disney Plus. And then once we did watch it, there really wasn't much there. So I've kind of changed my thoughts on that a bit. Now, I don't feel like some outlets 
that feel like, like this is from Screen Rant. They're saying Disney Plus Day was an unadulterated disaster. I don't know that I agree with that. I, I wouldn't call the entire day a complete unadulterated disaster. I, th I thought it was better than that. But I think I have gone from being, hey, yeah, I kind of liked it, to realizing, no, I really like the format overall as a content exhibition. It was very underwhelming. It was actually very underwhelming. Cool, we got to see the new title card for Ms. Marvel. Cool, we got to see the new title card for, I don't know, what was it, Diary of Create a Wicked Kid? Create some buzz. Give yeah. us something to go, dude, did you see on the Disney Plus thing? Did you see the thing they did with the guy? You know, like, give us something, um, create some buzz. And also, I agree with you that it shouldn't have been just for subscribers. Have a little something to entice people so your friends can go, oh, well, if you would have subscribed, you would have seen the extra footage. You would have seen the additional thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's something to learn from. It could have been. Yeah, and I, I think you I think you nailed it. It's something to learn Give from. Give me some buzz, man. Again, I think they're onto something with the format. Incorporate yeah. social media drops for little quick things, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Then do a significant presentation. And maybe don't leave Star Wars out. Maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> just a little you don't Star leave Wars. Star Wars out of it. I don't know. That's just my thought. Anyway, question is for you guys. What did you think about the Disney Plus day? I, I don't believe it was an unadulterated disaster. I thought it was still pretty good. Definitely cool idea with the way they formatted it. Just give us a little bit more content. I mean, if you're telling us to get excited for this and you're telling us to set your day aside and join us for this, Maybe make it worth joining you for. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.